What are you telling your clients or what are you planning to tell your clients today? Well, right now we're in the middle of a bear market and we're clearly seeing that play out overnight. Uh, the Bank of England obviously is making some emergency measures to support uh, what they need to do in their currency, but it's really about the strong dollar right now here in the United States, supported by the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve here has been absolutely resolute. They can't uh, be off their policy. They have to be continue to be hawkish. And we're seeing that ripple effects around the world with the FX trade, the currencies, so on and so forth. But we, uh, we're, we're advising our clients, uh, you know, we're asset allocating appropriately. We have some cash on the sidelines and we're going to let the market, we're not going to chase the market, but let the market take it, take advantage of it when it comes to us. All right. So you're not chasing the market, but it sounds like you're going to be telling your clients to kind of change their investment objectives because of this, all this volatility. I mean, just run it down for a second. We're about to enter uh, October, November, generally a pretty volatile time for risk assets. Obviously, we don't know how high the Fed's going to move rates. And then on top of that, we have the midterm election. So when you say change your investment objectives, what does that mean for the near term and then for the long term? Well, we're always taking a longer term view for our clients. And clearly right now, seasonality, if you look at September, October, and even November, especially in a midterm cycle, as you just described, you know, markets tend to be uh, selling off and, and less favorable or almost weak uh, at this point in time. That being said, uh, there are still opportunities here that come our way. And we're, we're seeing that in just about every market. But at the same time, we're going to keep our our powder dry and we're going to let markets play out. We know that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to be resolute. We're seeing that play out uh, because we're going we're seeing the conversation shift from inflation now to recession. And that's okay. actually going to play out over the month of October. We're going to see that in the employment data. The Fed's going to be looking towards the employment data as we are, and that's going to help. But the real focus needs to be on earnings and corporate earnings moving forward. I think all of the geopolitical headlines, all of the you know headlines that we're seeing right now are going to come into full bear, full focus when we get the third quarter earnings. Earnings expectations have come down. Uh, corporations have proven that they can exceed those expectations okay. uh, quite right handedly. All right, Robert, before we let you go, really quick, we want to get to your stock picks. Um, you have three of them for us. Let's start off with Costco. Um, inflation impacting Costco or the fact that people are worried about recession helping it, helping them because, you know, people generally stock up and they obviously need food and, and drinks and things like that. Costco's re re recession proof uh, and, and consumers will continue to flock to Costco. Uh, and, and we like Costco. Even next year, they're going to increase. They're going to pass on. They're going to increase their membership. So that's $400 million to their bottom line by a membership increase. But during a recession, Costco has proven to be a winner. All right. Your other two stock picks very briefly because we got to get going. So we also like Verizon, even in a recession, uh, people will give up mortgages before they give up their cell phone. Uh, and it's got a 6% yield. So you get paid while you wait, uh, as well as Amazon. Amazon is a winner. And it'll continue to be because the Amazon uh, cloud will continue to grow. It's growing at a 35 percent clip, uh, almost six billion per quarter. And at the same time, it's consolidated the last couple of years. But we believe in the long run, Amazon is a winner.